What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you are having an amazing weekend. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's a sunny day outside. I wanted to come to you today because I wanted to bring you an update regarding Jackie O, Jacqueline Smith. We know that she passed away recently at the age of 32. However, her plastic surgeon, we found out, has faced previous complaints from patients over alleged botched procedures, according to a new report. So I just want to first say that, you know, the social media tributes that everyone has been showing to Jackie O and her family have been beautiful. She was a beautiful soul who loved her children and, you know, was a long time love to DC Young Fly. Please continuously keep him lifted up in prayer. But she passed away this week at the age of 32, and the cause of her death has not been made public. However, this was the last picture that she was seen alive standing beside her plastic surgeon, Dr. Zach, whose real name is Zachary Accra. And she went down to Miami for a mommy makeover before her sudden death. And, you know, she made an, a post about it on Instagram, which has now been deleted. But the reports reached out to the Miami surgeon and they found out that he has sued multiple former patients over online reviews regarding his procedures in the past. That is so scary and serious. Dr. Zach's business in Miami, PH1, um, did not respond for a request of comment, but according to uh, multiple reports, they have said that Dr. Zach filed multiple lawsuits against other clients, such as Leela Penn, who he reportedly sued for more than $30,000 in July of 2021. So Leela Penn, the publication reports, alleges that the surgeon mutilated her. Wow. In a real self-review, claims that Dr. Zach allegedly calls false. He reportedly accused his former patient of directly engaging with prospective clients and encouraging them to go elsewhere, but dismissed the lawsuit without prejudice in December of 2021. Additionally, Dr. Zach filed a lawsuit in September 21 against Kyla Nirenberg for claiming that he doesn't have quote unquote happy patients. She claims his reviews on Google were fake and written by their own staff or friends. And Dr. Zach filed a lawsuit against her for $30,000 per the outlet. He reportedly also had the suit dismissed without prejudice in December 2021. So this seems like a, an, an ongoing pattern with him, right? I mean, I've never heard of someone any, any business suing someone over negative reviews or comments, right? Because we have freedom of speech in this country, although that's, we're protected under the government, but still, I mean, people can say negative things about your business if they have a, neg a negative experience. And I don't think that that's lawsuit worthy unless it's truly defamatory, right? But defamation of character is really hard to prove in a court of law. However, you know, he's dismissing these lawsuits but he's suing former patients who said that they were mutilated. That's what Leela Penn said. She said that he mutilated her. That is so scary. And, you know, I'm really glad that she was brave enough to speak her truth and also, you know, tell people to pretty much stay away from Dr. Zach. I mean, allegedly, right? <laughs> I don't need the lawsuit smoke <laughs> over here. Um, but I mean, honestly, I'm, you know, this is really serious. Plastic surgery is extremely, you know, a dangerous procedure in and of itself, let alone having a surgeon who is suing their own clientele because they're not happy with the work that he performed, right? So you guys. I just wanted to bring you that update because, I mean, he didn't just sue Lila Penn, but he also sued 
Kyla Nirenberg for claiming that he doesn't have quote unquote happy clients. So just from her saying that his clientele wasn't happy, he filed a $30,000 lawsuit against her, but then had it later dismissed without prejudice in 2021. So he keeps filing these lawsuits against his own clients for being unhappy with his work and then dismissing the lawsuits. I, you know, I never want to tell people what to do with their money or their, you know, their time and who to patronize their business. But what I will say is that I really want you guys to do your research, which is why I'm bringing you the story, right? I want to bring you this update because you're literally putting your life in a surgeon's hands, okay? And then seeing that he's filing lawsuits against his unhappy clients in the past, that's a red flag. That's multiple red flags, right? For one, the clients aren't happy. They're putting negative reviews on his site. Um, the positive reviews the clients are saying are fake. And then he's filing lawsuits against them. And then he's dismissing the lawsuits. Like if you're going to file a lawsuit against someone that's public record, typically you stand 10 toes down in that, you know? I've never heard of a surgeon or a doctor, or anyone really filing a lawsuit against someone and then dismissing that multiple times, right? Just for saying that they don't have, ha you know, a happy clientele or that they're upset with their work. So again, I just wanted to give you, you know, all of you this update. I feel like it's really important to make sure that you do your research in regards to anytime you go under the knife, any surgery is serious. And if you can protect yourself, please do, please do so at all costs. You know what I mean? Like not only look up their board, their board certification online, but look up the reviews, read them, do your research, please. I mean, this is a matter literally of life and death. And I hope that, you know, his former clients, Leela and Kyla, that they're doing well, that they're healed, that they are, you know, prospering and happy. Because when Lila said that he mutilated her, I mean, that's a really strong word. And that's really scary to hear. You never want to hear something like that from a plastic surgeon, someone that's supposed to make you better, right? To be the better version of yourself. I mean, I, you know, I... <laughs> I just, I, I just hope that everyone, I know everyone's different. Everyone has different opinions. I am an advocate of, you know, well, it doesn't matter what I'm an advocate of. Everyone's different. But what I will say is please do your research, read the reviews, you know, look up the board certifications, call around. I mean, you know, ask for, maybe ask for, you know, some, some, if, well, no, they, they won't give out. Um, former client information, but just, yeah, read the online reviews. I think that that's the best way that you can gauge, you know, um, whether or not people are happy with their service, you know, and also please, you know, look up their board certification. Like that's the most important thing because these things are public record as they should be. So with that being said, I hope that all of you have a wonderful weekend. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I will talk to you later. Take care, aces. Bye.